There is one scene in all of the Dragon Prince so far that tells me how capable this show is of some dark stuff. I mean, Avatar was definitely a show aimed at all audiences, but it never got this dark. Now the scene I'm talking about, when Sorin kills Viren. This scene took the show to an extremely dark place that I was just not expecting at all. Yeah, the show was heading into some more serious topics and themes in that last season, but this just put the icing on the cake. Seriously, I was shocked in my seat when this happened. Throughout the whole three seasons, Soren and Claudia were very close to their father. That was obvious to see. They do what he says, almost no questions asked. But in season three, Soren finally realizes the wrong he has been doing and decides that it's time to leave Viren's side and finally join up with Callum and Ezrin. This is probably the first time ever Soren has left his father's side. So this was definitely not a light decision and really required him to search deep down to go and switch sides. It definitely took a lot of guts and courage. And not to mention the fear of what his father might do to him if he found out that Soren left. So to go from just leaving your father's side to straight up killing him is a complete 180 change of character. But it can't be that simple. This scene right here makes me think that Soren was actually never a fan of being by his dad's side. I can imagine him not really wanting to do everything his dad tells him to do, but he did it anyway because that was just the norm. You do what your elders say. But deep down, he always wanted to be that good guy, the hero the crown guard, the protector of the true king. This was always what Soren wanted. He never agreed with Viren's way. Not like Claudia does. So maybe the transition from evil to good wasn't really a transition, but instead Soren was dropping his facade for his true purpose, being the good guy. And that's why when Viren came up and tried to kill Ezrin, who is the true king, Soren killed him. He wasn't suddenly changing his ways, pulling a 180. He was always a crown guard, protecting the king, and now the time came to do so. Except I'm sitting in my seat shocked again because the scene was all fake. Claudia pulling her illusion magic. Man, she is evil. Doing this to her own brother, making him believe that he killed their father. This scene really taught me two things. One, obviously, Soren's devotion to good. After this, I really don't think he'll be turning to the dark side anytime soon or ever again. Especially if he's willing to kill his father like that, he is definitely devoted to the side of good. But what this scene also taught me is just how evil Claudia is and what she is capable of. I don't know how dark these creators are willing to get in these next seasons, but if they're willing to go this dark right now, I can see Claudia doing some messed up stuff. I can even imagine Claudia taking it a step further and even going beyond Viren himself. Claudia might do something crazy that makes even Viren turn his head. Leaving us to wonder who the true villain of this series might be. Could it be Claudia? Or is it still Viren? Or maybe even Aravos? All we can do is wait and see. But that's gonna be all for this video. A shorter one, but a scene that I really wanted to take a look at. Let me know your thoughts on this scene and Soren and Claudia and what you think about them. My name is Rohan and until next time. On a planet covered in oceans with seven moons in the night Would the wind be so cold, gravity so low They spoke in some cold and time went dumb slow